We are in the bustling city of Gurugram in the national capital region of Delhi. Yet, right along one of its busiest arterial roads, you will not miss this site. An 800 meter stretch of unsegregated waste in the heart of the metropolis. The contrast is stark, especially for a city considered one of India's financial and technological hubs. The desire of all citizens is that we want a livable city, something which is free of waste, it has clean air and hosts a environmentally friendly uh, supporting system which uh, allows people to live a healthy life. However, this kind of waste accumulation near habitation does not provide for that kind of a clean environment that the citizens have a right to. In India, dumping sites, particularly landfills, were intended to hold only processed waste in designated areas. But Gurugram's Bandwari landfill now receives over 1,600 tons of waste each day, testament to the city's overflowing waste crisis. Years of neglect have transformed this into a massive environmental hazard, prompting the National Green Tribunal to impose a 100 crore rupee fine on the Haryana government in September 2022 for allowing this legacy waste to accumulate. Monica Khanna Gulati is an active member of Gurugram Citizens Supervisory Committee. As a community mobilizer, Monica frequently visits illegal dumping sites to document their status and submit reports to the municipal corporation demanding action. There is a huge pileup of construction and demolition waste, as you can see, and it has been here for years. It's a health hazard for everybody who stays here, for the low-income communities which stay on this side of the road and for the better off people of the city who live on this side of the road. This waste has been piling up along the Gulf Coast Extension Road, again an arterial network in the city. This is a dumping spot. So our suggestion has, you know, and our, our request to the corporation has been to clean up spots like this, you know, the dark spots of the city and ensure that everybody is not uh, it's not an open invitation for dumping. These kind of areas should be fenced and if, if they belong to private um, owners, then they should be fined for not fencing and warding off waste dumping on their land. When complaints to the Municipal Corporation of Gurugram did not yield much, local residents took it upon themselves to push for action through the Citizen Supervisory Committee. Formed in 2018, the committee is an attempt to include citizens as active stakeholders on key decisions in managing Gurugram's waste. We strongly put forward a suggestion for a monitoring mechanism which could at least oversee what was being done uh, with this uh, uh, concessionaire who had been brought in to manage the whole city's waste and we are a growing city. We as citizens had serious concerns about this concessionaire. Following the reservations, a dedicated team of 10 crore members today are in joint charge of identifying and addressing gaps in waste management. Members include civil society, environmental experts and former administrators. We are at the Sun City Township in Gurugram, where results of active resident participation in waste management are for all to see. The day begins at 8.30 a.m. when a team of trained on-ground collection staff, many of whom were informal waste pickers, make door-to-door -door visits. Residents here adhere to strict waste segregation practices. And here, this machine is going to be fine now. This motor is going to be fine two days ago. The motor is going to be fine now. Why is it not going to be fine? Was it a service due or what was it? Was it a service due or what was it? Kusum Sharma is a member of the Citizen Supervisory Committee. 
she personally oversees the wet waste management operations at the housing society's biogas unit members of the committee play a key role in detecting snags in the system ensuring every part of the value chain operates seamlessly ye ye wet waste ke liye likha hai dry recycle e waste ई वेस्ट का ऑल टावर लॉबीज में है और सैनिटरी एंड बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट है डोमेस्टिक हजार ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है try to stream we are there to streamline the processes and you know the the work the system they have and it's not obviously because everything they have to do but we are there to suggest so uh, for example I'll tell you now uh, there is a vendor which has been uh, you know given the work for whole of the Gurgaon to pick up the garbage right so but in the terms and conditions there is only one thing which is limit he is limited to collect the waste it's not written segregated waste collect the waste and you know put, uh, transportation uh, transport it to the secondary point so what is the use of it if we are going to get the waste which is totally you know uh, mixed waste and it is going to secondary point ultimately going to bandwadi so there is no use so you know we have been telling them they, they need to uh systemize this and only the segregated waste on from the source should be picked up and then uh, the the municipal corporation needs to set up the destination places where the segregated waste is going segregation remains at the forefront of problem solving at pioneer park as well a township with around 800 apartments here however the resident welfare association has been enforcing best practices with greater precision here the entire society is wet waste uh, which is segregated at the flat level so around 800 odd flats are there so uh, from each flat this wet waste is collected and which comes here around uh, 12 o'clock and then we they segregate this and then it is put into the uh, composting plant सक्सेसफुल मॉडल sometimes it is difficult to approach them and to ask for them uh, help the... directly yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not easy but that's why we have made this kind of arrangement ki uh, uh, inside our we have a segregation center we are doing uh, garbage segregation we are involving our residents so it's it it will be a smooth from our side so directly meeting with the mcg people or directly talking to them is little bit an easy for all of us fortunately for us Mr Krishna Sudhir Krishna is our rep with the MCG yeah. so that way we have this channel going uh-huh. otherwise yes yeah, we the point is there that uh, system uh, the, the, the difficulty is there in communication with the setup in the uh, Gurgaon municipality The municipal corporation on its part recognizes the crucial need for public support especially when it comes to streamlining segregation till the time we do not have at the complete segregation at source of the waste we cannot uh, go for the complete uh, processing and the other mechanisms like uh, we are proposing one the charcoal plant uh, in uh, collaboration with ntpc at bandwadi their their first requirement is that they need a segregated waste because they will uh, make the uh, green charcoal from the Uh, the dry waste whatever they will get from the public so segregation is the first step and that is the major hurdle which we are facing today so to tackle that we need a good mechanism and also we need the public support also residential complexes like pioneer park with a substantial resident population are classified as bulk waste generators in a city going by the 2016 solid waste management rules any entity that produces more than 100 kg of waste every day qualifies as a bulk waste generator the bwg then is mandated to follow very specific rules in how they should manage their waste there are five different categories of bulk waste generators one is residential then commercial then public infrastructure then uh, you know uh, social and uh, 
you know educational institutes and uh, you know government bodies and offices and all and the legal mandate for them as a waste generator there are three four basic mandates the first one is they have to segregate their waste at source the second one is they have to manage their organic waste within their premises as far as possible which we call in situ organic waste management and thirdly they have to hand over the rest of the waste the residual waste uh, to the authorized waste collector According to estimates from the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, 30 to 40 percent of waste in a city is generated by bulk waste generators. But while a few housing societies like Pioneer Park and Sun City are doing their bit to stick to the mandate, most bulk waste generators don't. Between 2022 and 23, the Centre for Science and Environment went on to map all BWGs across Gurugram. According to the report, the municipal corporation claimed compliance amongst 200 BWGs. But CSE's Mo Sen Gupta emphasizes that the city has significantly more numbers that remain unaccounted for. When we did the study, we got the data, official data from the city. Existing BWG was 614. So we found this number a little unreal because a city like Gurgaon, which has a population of 2.4 million. and it's a it's a economic economically growing city is a millennium city where the bulk waste generators cannot be only 614 so that was one of our recommendations also to revamp the survey so uh, i'm glad that they did it later on they adopted many of our recommendations one of that is doing the survey again <coughs> and they came up with <coughs> around 680 bwgs after that even though we find it sh- we think it should be around 3000 so uh, when we did the study only 205 were complying out of this 1614 uh, bwgs we identified i mean we got the data from the city only so in terms of percentage is not so high but at the same time it is important that 200 entities are complying under these circumstances tracking of these bwgs is of utmost importance The Citizen Supervisory Committee has been instrumental in not just mapping BWGs but also building a 24/7 portal in collaboration with the municipal corporation. Every week, members like Smita Ahuja, also instrumental in developing the portal, track its findings. One of the huge challenges that we were facing working with the city in terms of waste management was that there was absolutely no mapping. multiple methods were used to get their mapping together using google docs or whatever in the various stages and then finally in 2020 23 we decided in october last year that uh, let's look at a portal to put them on the portal and uh, the idea is to map the bwgs completely give them a unique identity ha capture their full details and also on a weekly and monthly basis understand their segregation and processing levels making them accountable for that last bit that is being generated so we try to we are trying to build that accountability through the portal the introduction of the bwg portal marks a significant milestone in gurugram's waste management system should be empaneled agency who have the capacity to collect the waste from uh, uh, neighborhoods and process it in secondary processing units they will set up they will process and make manure and other things whatever conversion is possible and they will be charging some fees from the households Despite its vital contributions, the Citizen Supervisory Committee continues to face significant challenges in expanding its purview. एक दिन में कितने दिन का वेस्ट आ जाता है? Limited public awareness and the small size of the committee restrict its ability to engage with Gurugram's growing population. However, issues like illegal dumping, highlighted by members such as Monica, are being addressed by the MCG with immediate actions taken. While dedicated co-members work tirelessly to amplify the citizens' perspective, 
the lack of broader citizen participation means that many areas remain out of reach. Meanwhile, the towering Bandwari landfill at the border of the city continues to serve as a grim and dangerous reminder to its citizens. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.